I also spoke to her father about being security in Southeast. And I pleaded with him, of course, thanking him for receiving Chief Mbazulike Amechi, who went to discuss about political solution with Mr. President. Mr. President is a man that listens, is a man that has love for the nation. And when you are disciplined, you could be misunderstood. But you must forge ahead because you're only answerable to God first. And so I thanked him and I re echoed that this is the desires of the leaders of Southeast for a political solution without prejudice to whatever is the judiciary process. And I believe strongly that the leaders of Southeast should initiate that, provided that there are no further hate speeches, there are no further violence and killings. And my position for Southeast governors is that anyone that wants to cause insecurity in Southeast must be crushed. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. The economy has been destroyed and we wonder about it. If not the grace of God, Saudi would have been destroyed before other regions in the entire Nigeria. This is very little, insignificant percentage of the people of Southeast. They were dishing out those hate speeches. People man is a builder, he's not a destroyer. And let nobody be afraid of the presidency of an evil man. There is nobody from Southeast who will become president that will not work for the greater unity of this country because we have investment everywhere. <laughs> if anybody is telling you about Biafra, first and foremost, I have been saying it, Chief Elechi said it, Ebony State will never be part of Biafra. We are not Biafra. We've been so oppressed, and now we are finding our feet, and you want us to go back. We will not. We are better in a fair and equitable Nigeria, and we are not going anywhere. We are not going anywhere. We will continue to insist to dialogue to appeal that we be treated fairly like other regions in nigeria and i have hope very seriously some enemies of saudi says the southeast person become president he will divide a country how will he divide a country we have investment everywhere do you set fire in your house so we need a lot of prayers and let me tell you very surprising the Ebony project in my hand will never be delayed even for one second because that is my first calling and I'm answerable to God when I finish here straight to the airport to go and supervise projects. I first went to supervise the one this way. The, this greater project will not delay the first assignment that God gave to us. So if you are making your memo, it's still the same thing. We will scrutinize anywhere I am and with calculator and with my phone. Every project will be anchored properly. If you doubt, you can try me and see. No matter where I'm doing campaign, there is no project in Ebony State that is not in my head. And there is no money that I will not know and discuss. And so I will end by thanking you very, very much. God blessing this project. We further the good works of Mr. President. I know Mr. President, I know his good heart towards Nigeria 
and Ebony State in particular. We will keep all his great and good legacies. We will also deepen it, especially finding a lasting peace for the entire country. As president of Nigeria, if God wills, I will fight the corruption of this nation to a standstill. There can be no development. The economic indices going down can never come up until the leaders of this country, in a town hall meeting and dialogue, we all make up our minds and sit round table, or round table conference and decide it's a time to repent and build a future for our children and grandchildren. It is, it's not about Mr. President, it's not about the governor. The late, they have a lot to do. It is a question of turning away from our ways, turning away from self, beginning to know that it's appointed unto man wants to die after that there is judgment. What have we done with the position that God gave to us? We begin to reflect that the only way your family will stand is to build other families. What we did in Ebony State, we can replicate it at the federal level. 